Hello YouTube, Hillman here. My amateur radio call sign is N5ABI and Radio Oddity uh, generously gave me the opportunity uh, to test one of their radios and that is the Radio Oddity GA510. It's a VHF UHF dual band radio uh, rated at 10 watts and I took this thing out and I punished it pretty good and uh, for a couple of weeks and I wanted to give you an honest review of it. So thanks to Radio Oddity for providing this radio for me to test out. And let's get into it. So the Radio Oddity GA510. This is another uh, radio in a long line of HTs, uh, VH, UHF uh, handhelds that uh, have come from China. First being the UV5R, which is much aligned, but has come a long way. Uh, there's a lot to like about this uh, little radio. And uh, I'm going to put up some pictures right here so you can see the stats on them. Uh, they rate it at 10 watts on high, 5 watts on medium, and 1 watt on low. And uh, actually, I'm quite surprised because a lot of these radios that are rated at 10 watts or 8 watts or whatever, they're nowhere near... Uh, what they're rated at, but this one actually is pretty close on my uh, Nessie uh, SO50 uh, power SWR meter uh, on uh, VHF this was reading 9 watts just a little under 9 watts and on UHF It was about nine and a half watts So that's very close to the high output rating that they have on this radio Which is actually quite surprising and I find it very very uh, I find that very, very good. So, uh, I got uh, on medium, I got uh, four and a half watts on both UHF and VHF, and about a watt and a half on low on VHF and UHF. So, I took this thing out uh, to work with me when I was working out of town on a job site, and uh, the very first two tests that I did, uh, I went to clip this on my belt, and I dropped it onto uh, a road, which was a county road, which is mostly Caliche and road base. And uh, it didn't scar it, it didn't chip it, and uh, didn't miss a lick. Uh, one interesting note, though, when you power this thing on, is that uh, it has uh, Baofeng's name on it, which I thought was kind of weird. So they must make the, gut, the guts to it. And I'm thinking, I wonder if this isn't uh, have the same... Uh, boards and stuff that are inside one of Bofang's uh, higher rated or higher power rated uh, radios, which I don't know that for sure. I just thought it was an interesting fact, and it doesn't change the fact or the performance of this radio whatsoever. Uh, this is the stock antenna that comes with it, and uh, here's one off. This is one off of a UV5R, and you can see that it's a little bit taller, and uh, it's a, a much improved antenna than this UV uh, 5R antenna. In fact, inside this house, on the, I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to go up here to the weather channel real quick. So you can barely make out the weather station on 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 it with the stock antenna, which is very surprising because the 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 smaller antenna does not even pick this up at all inside of my house, and I am buried in my house where my ham station is. It's in a very large walk-in closet, so that's actually pretty impressive to me. That it actually comes up, but there's so many different accessories you can put on these. Uh, you've got, here's a Nagoya 701, uh, my favorite uh, HT antenna is this uh, signal stick, uh, super elastic antenna. This is an awesome antenna, and uh, I normally will use that one around here, and I actually can pick up the weather pretty good with that antenna sitting here. So, um, things that I like about this radio, or do you want what I don't like about it? Here's what I don't like about it. 
Uh, this radio on high when you're transmitting with it will get extremely hot. Uh, hot, hot in your hand, holding it in your hand, it gets very, very warm. On medium power, you don't notice that at all. And I would not normally run around town or whatever when I'm carrying this, keep it on high. I usually keep it on medium at five watt setting. But uh, there's things that, uh, and continuing with the, uh, what I don't like about it, when this thing is on for an extended period of time, the corners of the display will start getting dark. But once I tell you what I did to this radio, uh, that may make some sense of why it does that. It will discolor around the corners on all four corners of the display. And uh, what I did was with this radio is a couple of weeks ago when I was at work, it was 104 degrees here in Texas. And I set this radio and I turned it on. I put it on the dashboard of my truck. And I rolled up the windows. So 104 degrees outside. You can imagine what the temperature was in there. And I left it in there for an hour and a half. Uh, the battery power didn't go down. So it didn't deplete the battery because of high heat. But it did. I did notice that the uh, corners of the display got... Uh, a little bit discolored and it doesn't do it until it's been on for an extended period of time so that was that's on me I did that and I'm pretty sure that's the reason why and uh, another thing I did was I put it on a phone holder on a vent fold holder uh, for your phone and uh, I just clipped it on there by the belt clip and this poor thing is just I'm going down county roads that are rough and I mean it's just it's going like this never missed a lick uh, display never flashed uh, so that's actually pretty pretty impressive it's actually pretty rugged uh, the things I like about this this case this thing is hefty it feels good in the hand it's very ergonomic I don't have very large hands but uh, the UV the UV5R feel in comparison feels very small in my hands um, so that's one thing I really like about it I'm not too keen on these orange buttons on here, but if I were to set it down somewhere and there was you know, low light or in the house or somewhere or it was in my truck, uh, I would probably appreciate having those bright orange buttons to be able to locate it. And so I really, really, really like this radio. Uh, you know, price is subjective. So you can uh, decide whether the price is right for you. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to insert some uh, audio tests and some signal tests right here. This is an audio test on medium power of the Radio Oddity GA510. This is an audio test. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. N5 ABI audio test clear. This is N5 ABI. This is an audio test on 70 centimeters. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Audio check at, minim, at medium power on 70 centimeters. N5 ABI clear. This is an audio check of the internal speaker on the Radio Oddity GA510. This is N5 ABI. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Audio check of the Radio Oddity GA510's internal speaker. N5 ABI clear. This is N5 ABI. This is an audio check on 70 centimeters of the Radio Oddity GA510, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, audio check. N5 ABI, clear. Okay, one. let's go out here and uh, try to do a little bit of range test with this. I've got the uh, GA510 and this is the uh, stock uh, antenna that comes with it. And uh, I've got the uh, 9.6 repeater here and uh, it's about 10 miles away from me. We've got this on high. And so we are going to try this out. And this is uh, a little uh, roll-up J-pole I have about, oh, about 
15 feet in the air and uh, we'll try a range test with it so let's try this out and see what happens in five abi testing repeater tl 146.2 And the tail's, there it goes. N5 ABI clear. And see, it didn't pick it up that time. But uh, we had about two bars on this stock antenna. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to this uh, roll-up J-Pole and let's see if it's any better. Do this real quick. Uh, this is where I'll just insert in here that uh, Wattage doesn't mean everything. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's ham radio, CB radio, FM radio, whatever. The antenna is what makes the difference. So, welcome. Channel mode. All right. So now let's try it with this roll-up depot. N5 ABI testing. Okay, let me try. I forgot to look at the uh, signal strength. Hold on just a minute. N5 ABI testing. We got full in. So we got, we're full into the repeater with uh, five bars. So uh, let's turn this down to low. Menu. Right through here. And let's see if we can get to it really quick. Just so we can try it out on low power. And let's see. There are a lot of steps in this menu. Uh, it's relatively easy to go through. But uh, you just have to know what you're looking for. All of these uh, Chinese made radios are just about the same. And uh, let's see down here. Thinking it's there. We go. Power. Confirm. Power. Confirm. All right. All right. Now we're on low power. N5 ABI testing. N5 ABI testing. Okay, I was able to get in with one bar on low power. So you could tell, I know that with, on the stock antenna, there is no way in the world I could have gotten in on, uh, on low power. And uh, when I go back inside, I'm gonna hook this up to my ground plane and just for fun, I'm going to see if I can hit the uh, what we call the nine mile, which is in Sweetwater. That thing is 53 miles away. So we'll try that and see what we hit. So once again, I could get in uh, to the 9.6 with a roll up J pole on high power, no problem. On low power, uh, just could barely get into it even with this. And on low power, there's no way on the stock antenna. So let's go inside and we will see if we can hit the nine mile in Sweetwater. Okay, we're back here in the shack, and uh, this is probably going to be a stretch, but it doesn't hurt to try because you don't know. That's what ham radio is all about, is about experimentation. So, uh, got this set on the uh, Sweetwater nine mile repeater, and that is 53 miles away, but it's way up on a hill. So, for giggles, let's try her out. N5 ABI testing. Oh, I don't think I switched this back to high power. Hold on a minute. Menu. All right. Power. Confirm. Power. All right. Now we're on high power, so let's see. N5 ABI testing. N5 ABI testing. Okay, nothing. Wasn't really expecting anything, 
but uh, that's quite a stretch for uh, for uh, 10 watts. So, all in all, I think the GA510 is a great little HT for the price. Uh, you get the rated power, you get a really awesome display with big letters, a lot more room to work, and the best thing is, is now you can program this thing on Chirp. Uh, I will probably carry this in my work truck, uh, hooked up to an external antenna, and uh, just use it like a mobile. And uh, about the power rating on this for the 10 watts, I would not hold this up to my head on the 10 watts. I'm a little nervy when it comes to that higher rating. And so uh, an external microphone will be your best friend, like this QHM22, which I highly recommend. This is a great speaker mic. And so all in all, I think it's a great little radio. Well worth the price that, that, that they're asking for it. And I think you'll like it. So I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I hope you'll stay tuned for more amateur radio uh, videos on my channel, which I don't do very often, but I have plans to make more. So you guys take care, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.